one. It's me. This is about as loud as I can speak. He was also present and taking. I'm not high on drugs right now. I just can't really talk much. We all gotta start somewhere. For me, that happens to be a murder trial, I guess. But <laughs> a murder trial that you just hopped over the banister and said, "Oh, all right, I'm in. That's Tag me." That's so long. Can I still find the desk? Yeah, you know, when opportunity comes to knock and you don't yes. say no. Well, I suppose not. And when uh, you've got a I'm rowdy afraid. defendant who's demanding counsel and yeah, I'm probably uh, not going to talk attorneys much. Who isn't uh, otherwise occupied? I'm mostly just here to watch. Welcome to Penta. But I thought I could get some pity subs. Off the bench to represent him. <laughs> there was a small part of me that wanted to see how that would play out. So that's kind of that's, about the RP see. Uh, the usually they just, Toasty, uh, thank you for the five no, gifted. I'll be real with you guys. I really don't, don't do a whole lot. Normally this is where I would be screaming. You okay, Jordan? <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. What's that's going so on? Long. Just uh, just pacing around a lot. I'm nervous. I really don't want these charges to stick. Well, uh, goddamn justice, goddamn. Mm, that's so long. <laughs> I mean, I can. Uh, I think Mr. Splainer will agree that we're probably going to be arguing something that has not been argued in the state before. So. Oh, well, fantastic! Should be entertaining. So long. We'll be uh, at the very least setting precedents one way or the other. That's a that's a that's a word the justices don't like in the city. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Say, that yeah. Means, that means nothing. It's it's yeah. a it's a that's, that's a hot button word. If you say it around a justice, they'll rip your throat out. Mm. That's so yeah, we've long. only got like what the four or five that we stick to. I missed the word. We, Yo, we've, got a few, we've got a few like case laws and the, the doctrines Joe that spawn from those Manor. case laws. That's Thank so you for long. gifting that sub to Mr. It. Markey. So close to three K subs. Those are those are the only things that, that stick. <laughs> this is uh, this is it. This is my this is my voice right now. Based on your argument. You still got the SS on my neck. Yeah. So for those of you that don't follow the Twitter. I talked about it. I was it, kind of hoping and, for both uh, of our sex that we'd be able to get brawn in on a medical the exam, but uh, my throat, things were a little consolidated. So, and the guy had very yeah, that's a, uh, the, the guy had very um, kind of something that I want uh, motion for in my in my uh, perjury charge against him. <laughs> initials, real unfortunate. I'm as far a, as as far as I'm aware at this stage, I'm completely man. hands off so, with that one. At, uh, I think yeah, I, I would actually be conflicted out of great. that one. I am following. I got to that look like a white supremacist while I was very, being very wheeled out to my car. And, it's easy. Uh, and what, it's mirrored. Uh, Kyle Winters. I'm it's mirrored. Reporter. Uh, I got to cover nice it in public. You, It'll Winters. wash off. I just haven't taken a shower yet. Because either either he's got brain damage or he's lying, and I'm I I tend to lean. I feel like how lying. he like. <laughs> Like how close they are. Yeah, well, you know, could be both. And everything. Occam's I, razor. I don't right? know, the man. I think the guy the might right just have a sense and, of humor. Uh, with a guy who gets shot in the eyeball. <laughs> Gentlemen, your honor. Go to the Twitter honor? to get a better. Your honor. We'll be starting. Am I feeling good? No. Yep. Absolutely. But the show must go on. Guess he's going to get a seat warm. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Yo, I'm tons of fun. Thank you so much for the two months. <clears throat> uh, sorry, sorry, Rand. Thank uh, you so much for the 15. Splainer, I'm not blowing you off on that other case. I just haven't been able to get a hold of the client on it quite yet. Probably spell like mad at us. Mad and it's the uh, Lang v. State case. No, they didn't really. Uh, I yeah, smell yeah, like fine. fucking. Yeah, he's a, he's a rather difficult on one Friday to get a hold of. So. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can, uh, Two I, days. I can try to flick him and get his attention. But for this, they don't really sterilize, like, the outside at all because, you know, it's just in your Well, throat. I sent him, uh, sent him an email tonight? and I uh, <laughs> bounced awesome. him something through the official channels. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I hear from him shortly. Yeah. I haven't actually heard from uh, my co-counsel on that one in a few days. Uh, Genzu Okada. What do you mean? Um, Mr. Okada <laughs> That's not even close. Away. What? That's the most I, I'm not what? even sure. <laughs> Mr. Okada is dead. What? How in the Wait. fuck did that happen? What? What? It no. Is an ongoing investigation. I can't say anything about it. But I can't Okada react to this properly. Uh, of course you can't. I knew he was in the hospital slow. yesterday, but. The, he, he I, can't, I can't react to this. No! 
Well, the fact that it's an ongoing investigation at least means the police picked something up on it, which is more than they had yesterday when no one knew his name at all when I asked three different police officers. I, uh... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pick that one up. And, and yeah, I think I might be. <laughs> get, get somebody to start investigating. I think I'm the prime I'm suspect all the now. That I can out of the hospital and, and see if there's any indication of exactly what he succumbed to. Not high. I'm not. If there at was all. any relevant evidence on his persons, and if um, if there's no relevant evidence on his persons, then it would it would be I'm really not trying to follow a bread trail. They gave me oxycontin this morning before I left. And then I got a prescription when, of Narcos, um, and I took one at four o'clock. When an officer does four hours ago. Uh, take hold <clears throat> of something like that while the evidence is still fresh, and uh, the, the possibility of finding evidence is possible or even plausible, um, it it just rapidly deteriorates and becomes insolvable. They gave me fentanyl to put me and under. And based on the way you're describing the investigation, it sounds shit. a little bit like some people <laughs> that. Uh, Good lord. Sounds a little bit like several of the other ongoing investigations that have been. Well, they didn't give me it to put me under. They gave me it right before wrong. they gave yeah, me the which gas. Which is to kind put of why under. you know I kind of I kind of got tired of of cases that were. I was laying on the table um, shooting the shit with them. Going cold. They were because they, they you know they're playing music they in this operating room and they're like yeah sorry this is old people's music. Uh, and I'm like this fucking hootie and the fucking blowfish. Even if even if the investigation. I was alive in the '90s. I know who hootie and the. Blowfish are. I, it would be and as I was explaining myself, I just felt my and, and fucking words, dude. As I as I was talking about Hootie and the fucking Blowfish. Well, and between you and me, that slow was part motion of the line of questioning that instantly. I was to get into with Malton was uh, <laughs> essentially when the I words asked were him fucking coming out of my mouth, but I couldn't feel my mouth moving. He was a, uh, and I was yeah, like, "What did you guys just give me?" They were like, "Yeah, we just gave you a little dose of fentanyl." And I was like, like we'll fucking see you on the other side, man. On and out. On scene. And That's that the last thing I remember. Like a great way to uh, <laughs> roll investigations together and compare notes, you know? If if I were to be blunt about it from my perspective, the last thing I heard was, I only want to be with you. Oh, fair even, enough. Even, even if it's the primary officer, even if the primary officer arrives on a murder uh, of a murder scene, you can hear they, sound. They, they might just case the nah, that was evidence, uh, begin the case file and pass it off to that was more mdma triple is a very good example of that uh, uh, my wife he ride along with him he wow. actually explicitly said he'll do everything he can to help him but he'll never lead an investigation he's not that kind of guy when the doctor and i did yeah. mdma together. It's, it's kind of uh <laughs> it's kind of hoping that the that, that the officer who is the initial responder cases it well enough for the secondary and, and eventual investigating officer chad what is that hit by that hit single it. by hootie Phone their whole here. first album Hello. and that's it you feeling okay no you don't have to be here if you don't want to i got it, it's not, <clears> got it. what surgery did i have i had a biopsy on my throat wasn't my mdma just meth that was one time yeah who do you in the blow field? all right well Probably about time that we make our way inside. Yeah. Have uh, any of the have any of the regular lawyers been notified of the uh, recent penal code change? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll send out an advisory to you all after this. But uh, the terrorism charge changed to where I can actually use it now. Dude, it's basically do yourself a favor, to man. Intimidate civilians, uh, disrupt medical services, and attempt to disrupt the government. I'll, I'll give you the exact verbiage and. Uh, in our little distribution list. All right, probably all of that with some sort of political, religious, blah, blah, blah goal, right? Uh, if you're trying to disrupt the government, it has to be political or religious. Yeah, if you're song. attacking healthcare workers or the general populace, it can be for personal gain. Oh, interesting. That'll be for this one. I don't know if there are any other judges presiding over this. Uh, yeah, here's what's going to happen. Hard. I'm going to sit in the back and kind of nod off. <laughs> are we cool with that? We we are one hundred percent cool with that. Sweet. You do, I'm you. just kidding. I can I can talk a little bit if you want to. But yeah, Arts and uh, I got I, Arts and anytime I talk to him about, well, anytime I used to talk to him about stuff, he he seemed pretty uh pretty by the books. Well, and between you and me, he's the one who told us to file this appeal. So mm, oh well, so that's a good sign. That's but, a very good sign.
Bree, the vanilla unicorn's a little further south. Oh, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> Step away from me. I'm sorry. I should actually probably start being like better. Be, be Listen, hey, Bree, I, I need to talk to you. Yeah, I know. Bree, uh, I need yes. to talk to you. Uh -huh. Bree, please, I don't have much time. Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> Listen, Bree, we need to talk right now. About what? <sighs> Look, if there's anything that you think that we should talk about before any decisions are made, I would... Your Honor, may I approach the bedroom? I've already made the uh, decision. You may That's so long. All right, well, that doesn't sound too reassuring. May I stand over on the oh, left side? Oh, for me it does. What does that mean? Get through this appeal first. Listen, Nettie's pregnant. <sighs> With my child. <laughs> Nettie. I'm trying to talk her out of this whole thing. What whole really? thing? And a, ah, you're trying to talk to her into an abortion? Thing. What is wrong with you? No, the whole marriage thing with you. Well, she's, well, she's here, pregnant. Otherwise, well, I mean, I can <laughs> do it alone. That? I do not I want say. to, but I can. It's a memorial for my best friend, Diaz. <laughs> what about your best friend, Maverick Shaw? Where were you yesterday? What? His funeral was yesterday. It was a good service. It was a good service. Yeah, well, um, my best friend, uh, Okada died yesterday, so I was dealing with that. You didn't even know until I told you. That's not true. I did know. Then why did you gasp? Because I don't want you guys to charge me <laughs> for another, for another murder I didn't do. Jesus Christ, <laughs> You murder again, too? No. Uh, I, I didn't even know I until he told me. Or, like, hair. <laughs> Officially. Oh, officially. Oh, Winchester. Listen. Oh, no, he's dead. I know all your best friends Wait, died, Jordan. Wait, do I Jordan. know that? I've noticed that pattern, too. You you're more of a Black Widow than I am. What is the hell did you just call me? Black Widow. <laughs> oh, is it? When what does that mean? Not a closed case. What? Uh, You've never heard of that term before? Uh, I think, I think, uh, this is usually Lamar reserved for, for gold digging women whose husbands die under mysterious uh, circumstances. I, uh, Listen, you and I need to have a conversation, I but I don't think here is the time nor the place. place. I'm trying to okay. focus on this and my Understood. pregnant wife. Good to go, your honor. She's three months pregnant. You, you guys already got married? Problem with it, I can leave. I think She's I'm pregnant. Relevant? No, you're fine. Is it like a shotgun wedding? If, if this no, were I love her. But so much that she's pregnant. Ms. Matthews would be leaving as well. We've already picked a name. If it's a girl, we're gonna name Did her Bree. <laughs> Sorry, I could I couldn't hear you. I I heard my name, but I didn't hear what you said. I said if this was a closed case, you would have to leave. If this was a closed <laughs> here, and you would have to leave as well. And I am not. I I see no reason for it to be closed. So. Unless both councils would like to request that, in which case I can make it happen. Uh, I have no reason to motion for it, Your Honor. Very well. If it's boy, Boba. Apologies for the delay. Uh, oh, here we go. At least one of the justice, thank God. All right, we can get started. Right. Nope, you're fine. You're fine. I know you're probably dealing with uh, stuff elsewhere. Am right? I doing okay? Yep. Yep, yep. yep. Then we will not take this. Just talking long. like right, this is I'm fine. This in the session. Uh, swallowing is. Shows up, he shows up. If not, feels uh, like I'm now more than capable of handling this with just two of us. Feels like uh, I'm swallowing a razor right, blade. Uh, we are here to, which uh, is unfortunate because I have a, a lot of mucus going on right now. By uh, uh, Mr. Steele, <clears throat> as well as his uh, counsel, that during the trial uh, a week or so ago, that he was assisted by ineffective counsel on the part of Murphy Braun. Now, this is a this is an appellate hearing, gentlemen. Uh, I I don't give a damn. I take anything about, to help it. Uh, oh, I'm going to after this. And this and that and the other thing. <laughs> Think of this as a debate. Prosecution, you will have uh, ten minutes to uh, present to myself and Ju Justice Holiday reasonings for why we should not grant this appeal. That includes any questions that Justice Holiday and I might have. If we see a need to go beyond the 10 minutes, then here I will. 
I will stop you at 10 minutes unless Justice Holiday and I decide to uh, continue it. Oh, nice. This is gonna Same be goes for defense. Now, since it is defense appealing, <coughs> defense, uh, you may either come up first in state arguments or you may decide to allow prosecution to come up first and then you may do it, you may bring yours up as a rebuttal. Uh, I'll, I'll present my side first, Your Honor, since the uh, prosecution needs to rebut it. All right, very well. Come on up here. You have uh, 10 minutes mm. from the point at That's which so I, I, uh, I initiate my time in here. Are you Understood. Prepared? Yes, Your Honor. You may begin, sir. Thank you, Your Honors. And may it please the court. Uh, I apologize yeah, in advance for the uh, rather narrative nature of this argument, but uh, considering this is an unusual area Jammers of the law, I'd like to make to sure that all of the holes on this are sealed. Uh, the appellant today respectfully requests that this court grant, uh, allow this appeal to Whoa. go forward on the grounds that his Sixth Amendment rights were, albeit unintentionally, violated in the trial underlying this. Specifically, the defendant contests that his, count, his right to counsel was violated insofar as he was represented by incompetent counsel. Appellant contests first that his trial counsel was incompetent per se, and second, that th that incompetency prejudiced the outcome of the underlying trial. First, as to incompetency of counsel, uh, it should always remain an extraordinarily high burden of proof. The appellant does not believe that individuals should be allowed to appeal their trial simply because they are dissatisfied with the performance of their trial attorney. To the contrary, the mm. appellant maintains that in the That's majority so of circumstances, long. this court should not question the judgment based on tactics or lack thereof of trial counsel. However, this is not a case in which the appellant was simply dissatisfied with the trial counsel. According to testimony that was presented openly in Murphy Braun v. Sonia Summers, Mr. Braun was sometime during December of 2019 or January of 2020 shot in the head, uh, specifically oh. in the eye. The bullet remained lodged in his brain for a period of weeks until he was submitted to surgery by Dr. Choi on January 13th, 2020. <clears throat> At that time, the bullet was Sorry, removed. What was that date? Uh, January 13th, 2020. Uh, at that 20 some odd days then yes uh give or take yes you're on right, i think well. approximately a month before our trial very well uh following that surgery dr Choi did issue a release to mr braun allowing him to return to work but she advised that he use his best judgment in doing so yeah this is following that on february 22nd 2020 uh mr braun was assaulted by sonia summers in the mrpd holding <laughs> cells Subsequently to that, Mr. Braun uh, was submitted to an MRI and a medical evaluation, uh, the latter of which demonstrated that he had concussion symptoms. Pursuant to Mr. Braun's own testimony, uh, since that time he experienced short-term memory lapses, uh, which was labeled by Dr. Choi as retrograde amnesia. He was asked on the stand whether he had practiced law since the time of that injury. Mr. Braun replied that he had not, but he said, quote, apparently he had been in court and, quote, apparently he did a pretty bad job. The appellant would state that uh, with such severe mental and memory issues, with not even remembering that he represented the appellant uh, and <clears throat> questionably even knowing that he was representing the appellant that day, had Mr. Braun been a witness before this court, it is undoubtedly Guys, that I'm an IRL his lawyer. testimony would have been questioned. He may have been deemed un also. unfit to testify. Had he stood accused of a crime, it's pretty likely under that evidence that he would have been deemed incompetent to stand trial. Uh, so it would seem ridiculous to then say that he would be competent to represent someone. Unfortunately, given the uh, chat, I just want to preface the, uh, this scheduling whole stream. On this, we have not right. had a chance to submit Mr. I've been on a lot of anesthetics and medical evaluations. Or if I say something racist, Mr. it's Braun not my fault. Gave and the, was given by Dr. Right. Troy in the uh, Braun v. Summers case. Uh, I think approximately four days it's ago. It's not my fault if I say um, something I'm racist. Interrupt you. Uh, what What do you believe that you would uh, you would have found? Uh, <laughs> What would All you right. hope to have found? It's uh, not me. It's case the had, uh, we had time to submit Mr. Braun to that medical examination, sir. Uh, well, Your Honor, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm an attorney. But uh, based on the limited medical uh, 
knowledge that I do have, I would suspect that Mr. Braun's suffering from some sort of post-concussional syndrome. Uh, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about that medical area, but uh, it tends to come with... Uh, Dr. Choi described it on the stand as him having uh, violent outbursts, inability to control his temper, and uh, memory loss. All right, very well. You may continue. You uh, have approximately five minutes and 30 seconds left, sir. I like take jabs at Roseanne whenever I can. <laughs> All right. Even though that was like five years ago. So that brings us to the second point, which would be prejudice. Uh, it is somewhat undoubtable that Mr. Braun's uh, <laughs> representation or lack thereof prejudiced the appellant herein. Mr. Braun failed to recall many of the state's witnesses. Uh, uncharacteristically of Mr. Braun, he f released them without any cross-examination whatsoever. Uh, he also called absolutely no witnesses for the defense, oh, which fun, wouldn't necessarily be unusual in a criminal trial, but for the fact that there were several individuals, uh, both character and otherwise, that were listed in various police reports that were not called, no, were not they me. and uh, their potential culpability was Channel, not, not brought into either. Simply put, Mr. Braun failed to paint a picture whatsoever. Uh, perhaps the pinnacle of this was that during an objection to his closing argument, but Mr. I will Braun read loudly subs explained morning. that he did not care and cut his closing argument short at the conclusion of that objection. He failed to illustrate many of the flaws which were evident uh, throughout the state's uh, picture that was painted, as, just, as uh, Judge Bailey put it. And then when the verdict was ultimately read, Mr. Braun made loud explanations, which do not need repeating, because I believe that both Wait, of the Wait, she said that she played EverQuest? Present, but resulted in him Is being held in contempt of court. This resulted in Mr. Steele being left without counsel, most notably during the sentencing portion of his uh, trial, which occurred prior to uh, my Is everyone that plays EverQuest a racist? <laughs> In summary, uh, what we're left with here is that Mr. Braun, an otherwise extraordinary and capable oh, attorney who's appeared before oh. this court multiple times, was mentally and psychologically injured in an incident that was entirely unrelated to this case, uh, which Mr. Steele had absolutely no reason to know of prior to this fact, and which <sighs> impacted his ability to represent the appellant. His temperament and his memory issues arising from this prejudice, Mr. Steele, uh, being represented by an attorney that he had no reason to know was suffering from the injuries. And, uh, I mean, frankly speaking, uh, I think that as individuals of the law, we can all agree that uh, sometimes we can be a little bullheaded and we uh, don't want to let people know that we're uh, licking our wounds. And that seems to be the persona that Mr. Uh, Mr. Braun was putting off. Under these very particular circumstances, the appellant requests that the court allow this appeal to go forward and uh, find that the appellant was represented by inadequate counsel. Uh, barring any Boom. questions, I'd reserve the remainder of my time. I'm not high. I just sound high because I'm able to. Should I'm unable court, to put uh, any sort of sort of. Uh, verdict, uh, what yeah, fuck would it. appellant <laughs> deem a? Uh, <laughs> fuck it, dude. I'm as high as a guy. Or the <laughs> item that put be that be put forth. <laughs> At that juncture, then would be we'd be looking at a retrial, or would appellant uh, be, uh, believe that this deems uh, a full uh, acquittal is necessary? Uh, as idealistic as it would be for me to ask for a uh, full acquittal, uh, I think that the more realistic option would be a retrial. Honestly, um, no, it's mostly Judge that Bailey I can't put court, any sort of like in the uh, trial under this. The state like I can only speak in one tone the right now. Together. It was just that's the mostly what it is. It's, I'm not even high, right? I, I can't put any sort of like inflection in my voice. Very well, and okay. um, emphasis. Yeah, nothing. Is it uh, is it the uh, the appellant's stance that um, the Chad, court I've should never be responsible even been high. for taking a look at uh, the individual health, well-being, and mental status of every single attorney <clears> before? They uh, they enter these uh, these premises and uh, conduct their business. Oh, uh, based on what you have told me today, Mr. Braun would have been showing signs and symptoms mm. of uh, this particular so issue uh, well before uh, Mr. Steele was ever charged with anything. And uh, does Mr. Does appellant uh, does Mr. Steele not have a little bit of responsibility upon himself to be checking up on his own counsel and ensure that he is being represented adequately? Uh, as to your first point, Your Honor, no, I don't believe that it's the duty of this court to uh, have a therapist sitting at the door checking every attorney as they walk in. I think this was a uh, fluke. Mr. Braun had uh, very intentionally not represented anyone in the months following his accident. Um, I'm not sure 
it may have been a symptom. It may have been uh, due to his retrograde amnesia. Uh, I'm not sure what led him into the court that particular day. Um, no, as soon as, as this to is the over, second I'm point, I also do not believe that the appellant is under any uh, particular duty to examine his attorney. Uh, for one, the appellant's first attorney backed out of the case uh, somewhat quickly leaving him the uh, need to find someone uh, almost as rapidly as he hired me that day. Um, but also, Unless we get to 4, uh, I, I think this court's very well aware of Mr. Braun's reputation. Uh, I remember when I first uh, got bar certified, he was very highly spoken of, a very capable trial attorney, and that is the reputation that Mr. Steele had heard of. Uh, he had absolutely no reason to... Uh, it, he had no more reason to inquire into uh, Mr. Braun's medical history than this court did. So I'm, I'm curious also with the, the appellant, why did he think that Mr. Braun was drunk as he was screaming out, he's drunk, he's drunk. What, uh, is there anything of that? What, what led up to him thinking that? Time has uh, my... expired, but we will continue as long as myself and Justice Holiday still have questions. Yes, your honor. Uh, my, my best guess at that, uh, justice would be that, uh, Given the fact that it, it's my personal suspicion that Mr. Brown was suffering from post-concussion yeah, syndrome, I, that can come with many of the I don't same think, symptoms I, I think as this uh, is get shot, being intoxicated. Know. Uh, you know, for well, instance, we'll uh, balance issues, temperament issues, other such things. Um, for the lay person such as you and me, someone who has a concussion and is uh, stumbling around and uh, having issues with their temperament might just seem intoxicated. We showed concern That's so long. after the sentence. Okay. Yeah, this is going to shut down. I bet. Are, you, uh, are you good to go, uh, Justice Holiday? Do you have any further questions <clears throat> for Appellate? Not at this time. Very well. Sir, you may step back. Thank you, Your Honors. Oh. Mr. Splainer? Alrighty. Honorable Justice Holiday, Honorable Justice Artson, uh, the appellant today is submitting an argument to appeal that his uh, counsel was inadequate due to incompetency from a medical injury. It is the belief of the district attorney's office, as to which we have filed criminal charges thereof, that uh, Mr. Braun is, uh, air quotes, milking this uh, this medical wound that he genuinely suffered back in December, but was cleared to return to work back in January. We have multiple pieces of evidence that are supporting this claim that uh, Mr. Braun is not an adequate counsel in any way, shape, or form, but did act Hope in his own personal well interest after rather surgery. than in the interests of Thanks his for streaming this the And while same the Sixth day. Amendment right does grant you the right yeah, no to problem. counsel in which we would have appointed a public defender to Mr. Steele should he have requested one, he elected to appoint private counsel, thus stating that he is going to take Mr. Braun up, onto his, uh, up, up into his uh, representation onto his representative team for this criminal appeal, which was for this uh, criminal charge, excuse me, that was Mr. never... Mr. District Attorney, I'm going to jump yes. in here and ask you a very uh, uh, cogent question based on what you just said. Uh, you're you're uh, throwing out there a, a thought that I think uh, we, should, we should dive a little bit deeper into in that uh, Mr. Braun may have been uh, throwing the case, as it were, uh, for his own sole benefit. Uh, what does uh, what do the people say to uh, the idea that perhaps uh, a attorney that is acting solely in their own benefit and not within their client's benefit does in fact stack up to the require uh, to the requirement uh, for appeal based on a violation of a Sixth <clears throat> Amendment right? The Sixth Amendment grants you the right to the assistant of counsel. And you can either be appointed a public defender if you do not believe that uh, there, that you have a counsel that is capable of representing you. However, Mr. Steele elected to a appoint a private counselor. And throughout the entire two weeks leading up to the proceeding hitting the court floor, um, Mr. Steele did not make any of his concerns apparent to the court through the docket. He did not did not seem to contact his attorney, in which his attorney had made no motion, even a, uh, even a appearance of entry on the docket itself. And the district attorney's office believes that Mr. Braun kept himself selectively silent to try to ensure that there was no paper trail of his presence during the uh, during the criminal trial concerning Caden Delano. This is supported by the uh, civil Man, suit in fault. which Murphy Braun was suing Sonia Summers for lost wages mm -hmm. upwards of $150,000 in uh, compensatory damages, in which 
uh, Mr. Braun affirmed <laughs> on the stand that he did not recall representing Jordan Steele. However, at the end, when uh, accused of basically profit mongering, he, he said that he did not get paid for the Caden case, stating that he had remembered it, that he was not being affected by, by retrograde amnesia, that this uh, the sort of concussionary damages, which are, are possible, Monger. which I questioned Dr. Choi about. <laughs> She said that it it was there is a light possibility of it, but he has had a significant amount of time to heal <laughs> since such a time, and uh, it would be very. She, she would want to medically re-examine him again if he were still experiencing any symptoms, and she finds it very unlikely that he is still experiencing those symptoms. Jordan uh, Steele Monger. The district attorney's <laughs> office, the people believe that, that this is a, the sort of. <clears throat> appearance to lack of preparation for this criminal case was Mr. Braun's own selfish desires and potential arrogance in which he has represented multiple murder cases in the past. He's very competent. He, he uh, I believe he's, he has prevailed in three different criminal actions it, involving uh, murder kind up to of. this point. So his competency <laughs> cannot be questioned. However, his um, own personal desires, I believe, did, did weigh very much so in the way that he acted Desire. in representing Mr. Steele. Mm -hmm. And I believe that Mr. Steele is, is at fault for not keeping an adequate damn, contact with stream. his attorney and asking Scream. him, why aren't you submitting any witnesses? Why did, why aren't you posting on the court docket? Mm -hmm. Why aren't you representing That's me? So I'm going to ask you a couple of, I'm going to ask you a, 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 a deeper dive question once again, Mr. District Attorney. Um, yes, sir. This is going to be a little bit left field, but I need you to go with me. Uh, have you ever taken mm -hmm. your car to a shop, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, when the mechanic uh, goes in and tells you, hey, you need your radiator flushed, uh, and uh, by the way, you need your, your, your struts realigned, do you take the mechanic's word for it? Mm. I would say yes. Uh, how so often long. do you, sir, take this car to a second or a third mechanic for, uh, let's call it another hmm. opinion? Uh, I would only take it if there is a problem that I, that I observe. Right, uh, but are, are you a mechanic, sir? And do you know uh, everything about how an engine works? No, Your Honor. So you would take the hmm. mechanic's word for it that they were doing the job as is necessary, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Then by your argument, sir, are you not holding uh, Mr. Steele to a higher level of uh, scrutinization for somebody that he hired to than you yourself are holding uh, yourself <laughs> to for the same type of thing, albeit you know a car instead of a court case? I would agree with that argument. However, off, uh, <laughs> formerly, Officer Steele is, is very apparent to how a attorney should conduct themselves both from a district attorney's side of the field and prosecutorial um, movements and motions leading up to trial as well as a defense attorney. He has, he has participated in over 60 different judicial proceedings uh, when it comes to magistrate type bench trials and he's also participated in I would say upwards of 14 different trials in which I've honestly represented him when he was still an employee of the state. Uh, yeah, Mr. Steele would, would be able to understand when a counselor is failing to represent him appropriately and had plenty of opportunity to say my counselor is not doing his job i am going to seek another private counselor for a second opinion because something appears wrong which i stated that i would do as well given the situation if something appears wrong <clears> in that court case or something was wrong right, with well, my I car, I would I guess I'm a lawyer second then. opinion when i saw those warning signs i would not wait for my car to blow up blow up i would wait in here for the whistling um or he did not say, I do not trust my counsel. I do not have a secondary private counselor in mind. I wish to appoint a public counsel. All right. Um, you, you may continue, sir. You still have time left on the clock. Okay. Um, Jordan Steele was always afforded the opportunity to representation, to representation in some way, shape, or form. Uh, during the trial of Caden Delano, his privately mm. appointed counsel of Murphy Braun was uh, constantly available to him, did submit accurate motions, did submit accurate objections, having a few sustained. Uh, he did uh, recall witnesses, as is his availability to do, in order to try to uh, inject some shadow of doubt, which would be his, his job and obligation. He did call a witness, I believe it was one or two witnesses to the stand, if I remember correctly, uh, through his recalls. Uh, he did attempt to uh, call and... Uh, motion to uh, remove evidence that the people had submitted throughout that trial. So the his competency, I do not believe, is in question because he is able to take uh, what the people believe in are, are he, is, he has been arraigned of yeah, charges this is and not yet uh, convicted of them. Hartson hasn't he has, taken he was, too he many cases lately. He was taking explicit, pre-planned, malicious actions for his own personal it's good to see. Gain. I like Hartson, though. 
and uh, Mr. Steele, when when he had these sort of warning signs that Mr. Braun had no appearance of entry or had no witnesses called of his own or had no evidence mm-hmm. submitted of his own up until the point of the two weeks proceeding to the court case, did not either confront his attorney about his failure to perform and did not raise the flag that he needed new uh, new <clears throat> representation appointed to him if he should need it or appoint new uh, a new private counselor as is his right to uh, fire his counsel and hire a new an admin? I don't should know. he ever need to. All right, there are two minutes remaining. Uh, does that conclude your argument, uh, Mr. District Attorney? Uh, that would conclude my uh, argument with... Could I, could I add something, Your Honor? Oh. Within one minute and 50 seconds, yes, you may, sir. Uh, in oh. a case previous to this case, I guess I'll come up there. Oh my god. Uh, in, this case, in a case previous to the K. Delato murder, he wow, had also, another Rami. Uh, had Real no problem good. taking over a case for Mr. Okada. So we know that he has no issue uh, asking his lawyer to step back or take a step down, whatever the middle of a case. And for clarity, that was uh, asking, that was Jordan still asking Mr. Okada to step down. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to add, Your Honor. All right. Very well. He, um, he understands his rights to representation. <laughs> Very well. Justice Holliday, you've been strangely quiet. Do you have any uh, I, questions for the, the, the state? I was writing a lot. Can I go back, Very Your good, Honor? Sir. Yes, you may. Uh, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to go back. You, uh... You taking medicine? Uh... Let's keep yeah. a parameter. Yeah, I, yeah, okay. Yeah. Social distancing. It's a, it's a, a put, social put, distancing. Put, put, put social yeah. distance real quick. Put, put, put him in a bubble. He is now yeah. bubble boy. Uh, sorry. I don't like that. Mm-mm. Uh, that Justice would that be anything at all from you, sir? Mm. There you go, your otter. Don't come within my arms. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good here. All right, very well. <clears throat> Just Holiday, do you have uh, any follow-up questions for the appellant based on the arguments of the uh, of the people? I do not at this current time. Uh, neither do I. Very well. Uh, I'm going to uh, place this hearing into recess. Myself and Justice Holiday will uh, deliberate on the arguments of both the uh, the people and oh, the appellant, fuck. and uh, we will render verdict. Uh, Thank feel you, free Honor. to stay here. Uh, please do not be shouting. Understood. Thank you, Your Honor. Understood, Your Honors. All right. What do you guys think? Winners. Yeah, it feels that way, but I wouldn't be too premature about it. I told you before, Mr. Steele, I'm not like Mr. Braun. I don't make guarantees. Hmm. I can guarantee you, you that uh, Larry is going to die in 14 days, it sounds like. <laughs> A, yeah. Yeah, I think he's past the incubation period. He might have less time than that. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's full-blown... Got the Rona. Which, which, considering he just went up and spewed a bunch of words in front of the court, that may, might mean we all yeah. have 14 days. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of here. Not like that. Mm-mm. <clears throat> I sound weak. No, I, I'm, just, uh, I just can't yell. In my opinion, That's the argument that he's making, saying that Murphy intentionally threw the case... Um, that just helps us more than anything. Yeah. Because if Murphy intentionally threw the case, that means he did a shitty job. I don't know, And though, that uh, still gets to the point. Coop does threaten to shut down my parking lot a lot, though. Mm, I, so I don't think Coop's going to be thinking too much about the parking lot. At least I hope not. <laughs> how, how many judges don't <clears throat> like you, Mr. Steele? Not sure about Coop. Two. I don't think Bailey likes you very much. I don't think Bailey. I don't know. Bailey might just be bad at his job. It doesn't feel personal. With Stan, it does feel personal. Uh, to be fair, I don't think that anything from Bailey was personal. I just think that uh, he seems like the type of person that goes off of uh, words that paint a pretty picture for him, and I don't think Braun was doing that for him that day. Yeah, and normally I'd agree with you, but he did sign that search warrant. 
Yeah, and that still hasn't been scheduled on the docket yet. Hopefully soon. <clears throat> Hopefully. Wait, I was gonna take that. <laughs> oh yeah, right, Murphy. That's true. But no, I'm not. Uh, based on how they were laying into the DA, I feel like they were looking for something in particular. I just don't know if they got it. Hey, Nutty. But I guess best case scenario, we get to do that trial over again, right? Worst case, we call this a mistrial because I shot Artson once. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. When uh, did you when the, when did you shoot steps? When was this? Eight months ago. All right. He was trying to. Wait, we'll, he, he was trying to burn down the courthouse. We we can only pull that so many times. We'll run oh. out of judges. Listen, if we can just pull that until we circle back to Kyle. <laughs> That's a fair point, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised the bar wasn't isn't here either. He's a big he's a big uh, promoter of appealingness. Dude. Dude. Blowfish is fucking dope. Just the first album. The second album is terrible. Man, this thing was too too short to even use a bingo card on. Oh yeah, I want to use one. Mm, that's so long. I don't. I didn't think I was high until I sat down and started streaming. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Dick Clark, the LSPD. But I did take a, a narco and have been smoking a, a lot of pot. So man, hmm. I just I didn't think about it. Oh! Does anyone have any weed? Uh, no, I think I left it in my coat back home. Smoke with my throat? Yes. Hey, this does anyone have any pot I can buy? <laughs> are you are you trying to buy drugs? It's not illegal program? to buy drugs, just to sell them. Oh, no, I don't have any on the other side. No. No. I think I, I have three cards. I think I think West stole my last blunt actually. Did I clear it with the doctor? I thought about it, but the doctor just seemed like such a narc. I know you're looking for weed, but do you want a cigarette? No, I'm alright, thank you. Alright. They should really put the yoga mats in here or something. Since uh you know, maybe out there, nice little yoga area. Mm.
Doctors never seem to endorse smoking. <clears throat> the lady who oversees the, uh, the chemo, I don't know, operation, department, whatever, uh, she she said, she told me to go for it. If she thought, you know, she said if it helps, fuck it. And then she tried to sell me a Grateful Dead t-shirt. And this all happened in, uh, I don't know, he's weird. This all happened in the Walmart parking lot. I thought it was weird that we had our consultation there. And then she went on to say, you don't even need chemo. Just buy pot for me. And then she screamed at her kids for messing around in the back of the minivan. So anyways, I start my chemo April 6th. And by chemo, I mean doing dabs with this woman in a trailer. <laughs> mm, that's so wrong. <clears throat> it's just the strain is called chemo. <laughs> on my throat I don't know they, uh, he said if I don't hear back by the end of the week to call him so holistic approach I worked for Steve Jobs he's good right hey do any of y'all got food if it's good enough I for a billionaire get but... away from me Mm. I'll, I'll put some oh, way over here. I don't want to get sick. I appreciate it. <laughs> Try some ginger and lemon essential oils. There you go. No problem. I only found out recently right. that I like we are ginger. Not, uh, we're not rendering a verdict at this time. Uh, we have a follow-up question. Uh, Mr. Steele, please step forward. <clears throat> oh, oh, boy. Uh, Mr. Steele, we would like to know uh, how much pretrial work was done uh, by you and your counsel, Mr. Murphy. I just Murphy want to Brown. put on the record that I am on a, an impressive amount of uh, narcos and marijuana. Understood, sir. We will oh. take that into account. <laughs> if, if... Right. <laughs> Are you able to recall any pretrial work done by either you or your counsel? I was sir? given an IV full of fentanyl this morning before my surgery. God. Oh boy! All right, <laughs> if you're going to be a... <laughs> just a steal, you may step back. I can answer some questions. I think. I mean, I it's up to you. Yeah, I, I think yeah, this yeah, would yeah, be beneficial. Yes, uh, it could be beneficial. All right. Do you recall any pretrial work done by you or Mr. Braun prior to uh, uh, your trial last week? No, that fucker. The only pretrial work we did was three minutes before the trial, where he bribed me. He said, "Listen, bitch." All right, I could be making a shit ton of money at Sonya's case right now. I'm going to need half a million dollars from you. That, that guy's an asshole. He didn't say nothing about that. He didn't say nothing about that till like three minutes before the fucking trial. Did you pay him that half million, sir? Well, no, because he lost. <laughs> <laughs> would, you right. pay a, so would you pay a... Would you pay a... Listen, let me ask you something. If you went to get your car worked on and all the mechanic did was have sex with your wife in the back of the car. Would you pay him? Well, I don't think the justice here is asking wow, if you pay a... him. We're just trying to <laughs> clarify if this was done or not. We aren't implying you should have. <clears throat> no, that's not, that's not at all anything. We're, we're trying to ascertain kind of everything around this trial. That's all. So you're you know, putting on the record. Here's you're the thing. Putting, well, hold on, Jordan. You're putting yep. it on officially for the record. You spent three minutes before this case with your with your with Mr. Braun. We didn't even talk about the case. He was just talking about how he wanted money. When did <laughs> you retain Mr. Braun, sir? Uh ballpark. Uh, yeah, probably like a few weeks before the case. All right. Okada recommended him 
But I'm starting to think that Okado is not a great lawyer because he's dead now. No. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> o- o- Okada. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I'm just out hearing about this as an ADA. <laughs> Anyways, Sorry, so Okada recommended him. And I thought they were going to tag team the case, but then they just kind of didn't. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, the, uh, the appellant's counsel would respectfully remind the court that he is on a uh, shit ton of, ton of surgical drugs at this time. Yeah, the court is very aware. Uh, Justice Holiday, uh, are you good to go? I'm good. Let me ask uh, you something. Good. Why would women in their 40s not think a guy in his mid-20s uh, not know of Hootie and the Blowfish? I was alive in the 90s. That doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. <laughs> Jordan, are you okay? <laughs> He's... I don't understand that reference. Anyways, all right. Like to, you can, anyways, you, you can, guys, you can go ahead and I step love back. You guys I take it easy. Hootie I do too. Great. Just the first up. I hope you feel better, Jordan. <laughs> Does the prosecution have anything they want to say with anything we brought up there? Yes, actually, yes. Uh, I would like to figure out information. when I I heard <laughs> that Okada like um, recused himself. Do we know if that's a fact or not? Mm. For this case, I don't think Okada has he never said anything on the on the. Oh, was that the Boba case he did that on? Yeah, there was. Okay, uh, never mind. Sorry, there was there was never an appearance of entry from either attorney onto onto this case that I recall. Okay, so yeah. Okay, never mind. Sorry. This uh, <laughs> no no the hoodie defense. Thank you. <laughs> you guys got Very any cold good. and flu back there? <laughs> No, that's what's wrong with I don't, this. I, I, I don't know that, that cold and flu okay. works on the you Coronas. Can't, you, can't, you can't know things, you know? I'm forced, I'm forced to stand close to this man. Yeah, yeah you're probably... The whole DA's office is doomed. <laughs> that's okay. You just go to the doctor, they give you a steroid, which weakens your immune system to fight the coronavirus. It's really stupid. Come on, Hootie Defense. Oh, no. Yeah, no shit. Somebody died. Of course it should be investigated. Here we go. <clears throat> screen shakes yeah this, this thing's about to get wrapped up <clears throat> don't worry just sounds like dave matthews oh. <clears throat> you're way off man hootie and the blowfish this whole thing was you know their songs aren't there's no interpretation there man it's not it's not it's just, it just is what it is dude you know what song does sound like dave matthews This song's too new. I don't mind anything older than 20 years old. It's too, it's way too new. <laughs> Blues Travelers. A lot of people don't like when I say this, man, but... You know, Blues Travelers... To me, I feel like they're a one-hit wonder band, man. I'm not. I've you know I've listened to their discography, and I'm I'm not I'm not too impressed, man. <clears throat> I'm not too impressed. I think they're just kind of one one hit, one hit wonders, one trick ponies. 
They have two or three good songs. They li they're the same songs. <laughs> here, here we go, chat. All right, so this is Run Around, their uh, highest charting song. All right, here we go. All right, and here's Hook, their second highest charting song. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Same fucking song. Was that again? It's fucking blues travelers. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, that guy can fucking shred on a harmonica. I'm not taking that away from him. All right. But I think that Blues Travelers would have been more successful as a jam band. Hello. I think that Hello. Blues Travelers would have been more Wait, successful as a jam band. Uh, what the fuck do you mean just, with the prison? Just touring. Just touring and hitting the hippie. Hitting the hippie circuit. Damn criminals, am I right? Because that's all. He can shred on a fucking harmonica. And if you just go in up fucking stage in front of hippies and just start shredding on a harmonica, just jamming for like an hour, yeah. Jam bands and success do not belong in the same sentence. Uh, I mean, Fish and Grateful Dead would, That's would disagree. So long. <clears throat> Here's the thing, jam bands. I don't think it's very efficient. They're they're. This is the thing. All right. Mainstream success, maybe not, really but their around. fans, fucking hardcore. All over. Hard fucking core, man. Of course, it's hard to have mainstream success when you don't produce any singles. I don't know. I'd really like to, uh... I'd really like to go back to bed. What defines a jam band? They just go on stage, man. Start jamming. They don't really have any songs. <laughs> Drum solos. A lot of solos. A lot of solos. Jack White, I don't like the White Stripes that much, man. I'm... Mm, that's so long. I like the one song about a doorbell. <laughs> that's it. It's catchy. It's got a really, really, really good hook. Really good hook. That's a good song. I don't, um, that's on the same album, right? Is a uh, seven nation army. No, it's not. Oh, it's by their day. It's on their debut album. Oh, no, it's not. Is it? Oh, then no, this is their fifth album. Jesus Christ. How old is the White Stripes? Is Tool a jam band? No. Tool is like prog rock. It's all right. <clears throat> Or 
Order in my courtroom, please. Mr. Splainer, this is not a jungle gym. Apologies, Your Honor. Just trying to get away from a spider. That is fine. After careful deliberation and uh, considering the arguments that were put forth uh, by the district attorney as well as the appellant today, this court would like to congratulate both sides. Uh, this was the first time we've ever done what is an actual correct appeal of a verdict. Uh, uh, and, and the court was very pleased with what was put forth today. I know it's a little bit wow. boring, a little bit formulaic, but, uh, you know, if, if we start to get some more appeals of, of judicial verdicts, uh, then we might see some more of these. I, for one, personally enjoyed it. I don't know if, uh, just, I'm not going to speak for Justice Holiday uh, as to his level of enjoyment. But I'm having a blast, Your Honor. I'm glad you are, Mr. Steele. I'm <laughs> glad you are, sir. After considering... Thanks, after considering both arguments uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and weighing some firsthand experience with what we saw in the courtroom as well, uh, we are at this time uh, inclined to believe that uh, Mr. Braun did not represent Mr. Ooh. Steele with the requisite level oh my of God. zeal that is required by the Oh my Catholic, God! Whether that was because of a medical uh, issue for this Mr. son Braun of a bitch did it because uh, he had. Uh, Desires of his own for a case that was happening later on. Uh, this court is not going to uh, this crazy son of a bitch did it. Nor uh, lean one way or the other on. Rather, we are simply going to find at this time uh, that uh, <coughs> Mr. Steele was not represented adequately, and it is the judgment of this court that uh, the verdict in People v. Steele be overturned and it be sent back to the lower court for retrial as speedily as is possible. Uh, Mr. District Attorney, <laughs> should the people wish to retry the case, Still you have out on bail. to refile uh, and uh, recommended to do so within the next 72 hours. <laughs> Understood, Your Honor. Thank you. Very am good. I, this court is adjourned. Am I still out on bail? You are... You uh, are... Well, well, let's ask it this way. Mr. Splaina, does the District Attorney intend to refile? <laughs> uh, at this time, considering the, the evidence that is... <laughs> no, no, we are not refiling, Your Honor. Oh, what the fuck? At this language. <clears throat> oh this shit! Time, Mr. I'm sorry. Steele, you are free to go. Please <laughs> note that the district attorney has 72 hours nah, to refile, to change their mind, refile this case. To DA ever again. If <laughs> they do so, then uh, you will be uh, held once more under the terms of your bail, sir, and you will be notified. I understand, Your Honor. Very good. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, congratulations, Mr. Steele. You are a free man. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. That, you're, uh, uh, you're not bad at this whole thing. Uh, I do what How I can. How would you like to represent me on some other cases? Wait, I already hired you, right? Yeah, I'm already representing you on other cases. All right, Mr. fantastic. Steele. Good. Fantastic. Uh, speaking of which, <laughs> uh, I'll email you when you have a more sober mind, but uh, I assume you want me to take over from Mr. Okada on the uh Yep, take it all over. Appeal. All of it. All right. All right, I'll uh, reach out to Splainer on that one sometime today or tomorrow. Yep. Okada. All right. Or maybe, maybe we could drag in Okada's corpse to the trial. All right, and then we can get that case dismissed on grounds of him being incompetent. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going to weaken that Bernie's <laughs> Mr. Okada. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> Jordan, go rest. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. the better. Yep. Get out of here. You're right, actually. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Yes, Thank you, Your Honors. Coop is right. I do need to get <laughs> Coop's, Coop's, Coop's 100% right. 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 But I'm glad I got on to see this. Talk to Bree. No, I'm not. That's going to be heavy. I, I, I do need to rest because the longer I don't rest, the longer it's going to take me to recover. Money. Your Honor, if I may, I sit alone by a lamp post, trying to find a thought that's escaped my mind. I said Cadence the one I love the most, but Diaz is not far behind, <laughs> so just let me cry. <laughs> that's a Hootie's and Hootie and the Blowfish song for those of you that are uh, apparently over. Oh. Next case.
We appeal Jordan Steele being fired from PD. Help you the police we coming back real justice real steel. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> Eric, I'm gonna head to your island right now. Right now. Your car no, deserved to be kicked. I wish I could impound it. Empower game the fucking world out of you. Yo, Paul Tat, okay, thank you for the seven gifted. Three thousand subs. We did it. I would I would normally start screaming all right but this is the this is it all right this is all i got thank you so much for the three thousand uh thanks for the donations um you know what thanks to everyone that subbed man thanks to everyone that got me three thousand subs i really don't want to read much my throat hurts a lot i can feel the stitches um it's not about the rp with jordan bouncing That's off my uh it's not esophagus as i speak it's not fun <sighs> yo faucius with five gifted subs <laughs> this is fucking pathetic <laughs> this is goddamn pathetic yo faucius with five gifted <laughs> thanks man i'm com i'm coming to your island I'm coming and I'm stealing your fruit. It's in my passport. Will steal fruit. Host the lawyer. Who's on? Let me see who's on. You've got shit for me? Oh, motherfucker. All right, good stream, guys. Um, Mantis, Coil, let's host Coil. He's hosted me like two times and I haven't been able to return the favor. He's hosted me like twice in a week. You'll have to tell him that I'm not there, though, that I'm very much uh, needing to rest. So, Raid? You're right. Not host. <clears throat> Raid. Go there. He's on Soze. Damn. Shit must be getting serious on the south side. Coil's on Soze. Not fucking around, huh? Okay. All right. All right, guys. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go. Appreciate you watching. I'm going to try to be back on Thursday. That's my plan, okay? Follow the Twitter for more uh, anti-Semitic doctors, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Surgeons. <laughs> Doctor, whatever. All right. Goodbye.